Greetings everyone and welcome back to the Hourglass. Welcome if you, if you are new. It's great to be here. It's great to have each and every one of you viewing. Peace to you and those you love. You guys, peep this. So this fell in front of my garage, you guys. It's actually an owl feather and I managed to get a, a, a snap of it before I got freaked out because he looked right at me uh, when it flashed, when the camera flashed. So this fell in front of my garage yesterday and it's crazy because it's the first big, this is the biggest feather I ever had. I always get like black feathers, but man, this made me feel some type of way. Like I feel magical, you guys. So immediately what I did, I wanted to see what's the message around the feather because you know, um, my great, great grandmother that passed away, she actually gave my mom an owl uh, picture that she has in her home. And it's funny because she texts me this morning to tell me this prayer plate fell uh, and shattered because of the wind uh, due to the tropical storms, the hurricane seasons that's happening in the islands right now. So the connection when I showed her the owl picture, the feather, and then she showed me my great great grandmother's picture of the owl, I was like, oh my God, my grand my nana here. <laughs> so she said the connection is transforming or the energy was transforming. So yeah. So I pulled some cards last night just to see what the message was. I kind of charged it with my amethyst. My mama gave me this too. So my mom sent this. <laughs> anyway, so let's see. What is the message surrounding this feather that I would like to share with you guys on the channel? I possibly might send this to all my family members as well. I don't know. May do a different one. I don't know yet, but I'm excited to see the message and I hope you stick around and uh, keep watching to see what message is surrounding that beautiful owl feather. All right. So let's see. The buzzin chakra is insight. <laughs> Oh, wow. So um, I guess this the message around this feather is talking about it's time to take uh, time out and have this self-evaluation. Uh, some things are happening around me or as a collective that is bringing some type of deeper understanding, but we may need to cleanse or we may need to kind of dis disregard uh, discard any ideas or any type of old beliefs that may cause um resistance from what is being shown all right and tigers has been coming up a lot lately i know we are in leo season happy birthday to all leos um but i'm seeing a lot of tigers and you know mims uh attached to tigers talking about uh the willingness to be resilient or the willingness to grow and tigers are very feminine as well so we have four plus two is six so this may have something to do with inner balance inner rhythm is what i just heard and um could also be talking about leaving behind any type of anxiety or fear-based thoughts that may have been holding us back from anything that's in alignment or in agreement with the inner self here so wow Ooh, let's see what love has to say. True love. So six and true love talks about that soulful connection. Uh, the lover is in the traditional right away. Tarot is the number six, which is Gemini. So it could talk about alliance. And that's funny because on my altar, I have the alliance card. This is my private, this is my personal deck that I use for my family. Uh, every week I pull new cards and they're on my altar. You guys know how it goes if you have an altar and you practice that yourself. So there's an alliance coming uh, together here, but there needs to be some type of deeper understanding. Maybe I'm getting a lot of insights and uh, revelations that's awakening this true love. Doesn't have to be with someone else. It could be within yourself. Having that cosmic union between the yin and the yang or the feminine and the masculine energy to bring some sorts of uh to buy <laughs> to vibrate more on joy and balance you guys i'm excited and emotional at the same time all right some of you may be coming into true love a romance of a lifetime but again uh there needs to be a clearing of 
the third eye chakra you need to be more receptive to the subtle energies listen somebody's wide awake hey somebody's wide awake somebody may be coming into the understanding that they have met their true love they have this understanding whether you guys are separated together uh off and on somebody has come into a personal revelation that their true love is in their grips or in their midst or uh, they have the opportunity to have this romance of a lifetime. I'm kind of looking at my camera and I hope it don't fall back. But anyway, so let's see. We have another uh, Lenormand card. Great fortune. So I have posted this on my Instagram page. Uh, if you're not following me, you should definitely follow me. Well, I'm not a, I'm not a person that posts every day because I don't know. I just need, I just have the feel to be on my own a lot. So I don't really post every day on my hourglass uh, page, but I did post the great fortune. So whether it's good or bad, we need to find whether it's good or bad uh, fortune. We need to look for the value in the situation because life is not going to be rainbows and butterflies all the time. You guys, it's going to be dark. It's going to be fucked up. It's going to be wet. It's going to be difficult. But once we find the value by looking deeper, by using our stargate, our third eye chakra, all right, what could be blocking the third eye chakra? If anything, poor judgment, uh, poor imagination, the lack of focus, the lack of meditation, the lack of listening to your inner thoughts. Now, if you have a problem with your ego, it's time to be aware of that ego mind. It's time to be aware of the paradigms or the conditioning that we're trapped in that's not letting us live to our full uh, comp uh, compatibility. That's what I just heard. It's not letting us live our best life, all right? So it's now time to tune in within self. I feel like this is some hermit energy. So maybe someone is coming out from the darkness or the shadows or they're now ready to come back into a situation that involves true love. And I feel like when they come back in, they're going to have good fortune or great fortune, meaning better wisdom, better understanding, possibly even more mature. And listen... You can't expect something that's picture perfect because that does not exist. The whole, uh, the whole bottom line of the fool's journey or the warrior's journey is to come to the understanding that we are not perfect but we are perfect in our own imperfections, if that makes sense, all right? So it's time to see beyond the physical. Someone may be coming to the revelation that it's more than a physical attraction here, and this is indeed somebody's true love. This person has brought someone a lot of good fortune in their time together. And remind you, even though we are higher level soulmates, um, we, are, we, we feel like we're twin flamers. It doesn't mean that it's going to last forever, but the connection does. So you may not be in this person's life how you want to be, 100 or 1K, but the connection is forever. <laughs> All right. So I don't know if someone's been having a lot of nightmares or very prophetic dreams, vivid dreams, and uh, they may be writing it off as hallucinations or delusions. But again, oh, and I read something today about Libras having to not let other people's illusion delude them uh, from their truth. So if you're a Libra that's watching, that may be for you. I'm a Libra, sun sign, Aries rising, a lot of placements in Scorpio and Sagittarius. So yeah, um, definitely feeling magical, you guys. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at the emotions. What should I be aware of or what emotions should I be um, on the lookout for? All right, so let's see. We have free. <laughs> oh my God, I'm gonna cry. And the thing is, you guys, I didn't look at the cards. I was tempted to look and like digest the cards before I turn the camera on. And I heard uh, my inner self say, you know what? Let it be a surprise. Don't you like surprises, Hourglass? And I was like, yeah, I do. <laughs> All right, so we have free. Yeah, it's time to come out of any type of old paradigms discard any type of ideas that may be limiting you from going and you know what it is you know what it is because you have resistance with this thing you struggle with whatever belief this is you know it's time for a change in this leo season 
uh, it encouraging us to be very big and bold and use that power from within, all right? So a lot of us may be longing to be seen, heard, respected, adored. I know I mentioned this in previous videos. And yeah, take the lead. Express yourself. Unleash whatever hidden creative power is what I'm getting here. It's time to be liberated. It's time to be more independent in who you are. I'm not saying, oh, you don't fucking need anybody. I'm saying be more independent in your creative energy. Let it flow because guess what? It's time. You may have been, some of you may have been in some type of, um, development stage and now it's time for you to free yourself it's time for you to come out of that cocoon it's time for you to come out of that cosmic egg you're now being some of you may have a rebirth or again it's like a revelation so i uh shuffle the card the deck and uh three cards i pull from the middle every time i shuffle i pull from the middle so let's see what's going on oh my god we have the Knight of Cups. This would be the King of Cups in uh, traditional tarot. In this deck, they have it as the Knight. I guess they want to show that Knights are very act, uh, Kings are very active in this deck. We have the Emperor. Oh my God. And we have the Hangman energy. All right. So if, it, okay. So the message surrounding the feather. It's time to bring structure. It's time to bring like this organized vision. Get organized. Hey, don't let the ego try to box you in in something that feels familiar or it feels safe. It's time to bring out. It's time to be devoted with the King of Cups energy. Devoted to what? Deeper understanding. Now, we're going to jump in. We're going to look at it as a relationship aspect because we have true love here. So again, it's time to tap into that true love energy in the past we may have been very emotional manipulative or we played a we played a uh, manipulation game meaning we tried to protect our emotions that we had because we wasn't too sure if it was true if it was genuine if this is where uh, I should jump in into this uh, emotional scene but we see here the King of Cups may be ready to take some type of structure in life. Now, those of you that may be dealing with a Divine Masculine, the Emperor card, a lot of people associate that with the Divine Masculine's energy. But if you're not, uh, if you're not wanting to relate that, talk about the Divine Masculine energy within self. If you have been sacrificing the best of you because you're, of your ego or of your pride, it's time to now... Uh, do what's best here with the hangman's energy. It's time to come out of this stalemate of hanging back in the shadows. So for some of you, as a collective, you're the person or the main person, the emperor in your life may be wanting to come out now. They may be wanting to now... Uh, they may have learned something from the material world or from some type of karmic lesson. And karmic does not have to mean bad all the time. It means that it was a life lesson that this person needed to learn. And there's some type of gift or there's an organization of, of what, what is happening. So maybe this person was all confused. Events was all you know, thinking too much and, you know, they really need to put in this still energy. This is like meditative still energy with the insights and the hangman. So whoever this was or whoever this resonates in, in the emperor's energy, this person is feeling like they want to make a bold move and it includes their emotions. They want to be free from anything that has been, uh, I heard hampering or harboring on this person's chest now with the hangman's energy this could feel like this person um oh and what's the hangman? the hangman could be sagittarius we have aries and we also have water elements scorpio pisces cancer now in the hangman's energy uh, something was exposed here. This person may have been walking against the rain or banging themselves uh, repeatedly in this cage. So if this person thought that didn't have any wings and we have the bird, uh, we have the owl feather here, right? Some type of wisdom, some type of ancestral wisdom may have, you know, been exposed to this person. This is an activation here. All right. And it may be in the emotional sector. This person needed to get structured in their emotions. The Emperor card could talk about being permanent, being a permanent person in one's life forever. <laughs> anyway, so it's like this person may have been, this person may be humbled right now. So in the past, they didn't have good direction, but now they may have good fortune or they went through some good and bad fortune, but they have value here or they're taking the wisdom 
and the value from whatever they went through went through i feel like this person feels lucky actually they feel like this burst of magic they feel like they may be sitting on top of the world here with the emperor we have the king and cup the king of cups with the emperor card you, you guys this person is really wanting to be structured or organized or they have a clearer vision of what love is true love is they're seeing the light hey so in the past if they were in the dark in the shadows they may have left things up in the air things didn't have any direction it wasn't going anywhere with this person it's now now in this emperor's energy being the middle card being that they are free it's like this emperor wants to build the emperor's energy could talk about builders energy as well so having this plan or this strategy it's like they have an a, a plan of action to be successful here to bring good fortune to a situation that they may have left up in the air with the hangman's energy a new understanding the hangman is roped uh, to a tree actually it's, the hangman is hanging from a tree a limb and they're being dipped into the matrix so this person had to have a new understanding or they had to have their whole life turn upside down to have to break out of some type of strong beliefs that may have been limiting this person. I'm also taking this message. I know I'm speaking in third party uh, um, narrative, but I'm actually paying attention, you guys. I did not expect this message. So the message surrounding this this feather, this owl's feather, is talking about having a clearer vision, a plan of action to deliver something here with emotions with the king of cups. This could be a counselor. This person may be metamorphing or morphing into uh, a counselor, a very devoted partner or loyal partner here. This person may be learning how to be more tolerant. Being that we have the Empress energy could have been a strong egomaniac or a control freak here. Becoming more mature. There's some passion here that this person wants to deliver. Their passions may be setting them free as well and they may be profiting from that. This person has a whole new outlook on life, you guys, with the hangman's energy. <laughs> oh, wow. This is like impressive. I'm looking for any number confirmations as well. So uh, the emperor could be a four. So we have four, four, two. That may be a strong light code for someone here. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm very impressed with what is set up right here. Like I don't even know if I should continue pulling more cards or I should leave um, this beautiful message that surround that owl feather as it is. I'm not getting anything else. All right. So the handman could also talk about letting go here, but there's waiting. This could be silence or they're waiting in silence or they're waiting for something else. Hey, what is that? They're waiting for an opportunity. I keep seeing the word gesture gesture so i don't know if they're waiting for the opportunity to make an emotional gesture but they have a plan of action here with this emperor attitude their psychic abilities are very heightened at this time awareness psychic ability with the insight so this person is getting a lot of clear insights about true love i feel like this is someone's divine masculine this could also have to do with the masculine energy within you, how to heal that wounded masculine's energy. Now, how do we wound, how do we heal the masculine energy within? Um, uh, seeking freedom, not in a very toxic way either. Maybe this person is freeing themselves from toxic behavior that they thought was giving them freedom. They have a new understanding. This person had to detox some, for, from something here or they had to pull away from this romance. <laughs> I just heard I'm back and I'm better. What? You guys play too much. So if in the past, if this person was not present or non-committal, I feel like now in this emperor's energy, they're having like a strong trust in themselves. This person could be very systematic or they're having a new system here. Impressive energy, I must say. This is impressive, you guys. Like, 
Wow, wow. <laughs> yeah, so if the masculine or the masculine energy is wounded in the past, this person could have been very forceful, dominating with that empress energy, manipulative with the emotions as well, always overdoing it or underdoing things. And in the sacred energy, because we have free hair as well, with psychic abilities with the hangman, this person is present, they're aware, they're open, they're Stargate is open. They are waiting for some type of divine instructions as well. More structured. That's all I'm seeing with the Empress energy. Structured, structured. Could be holding space instead of waiting with the hangman's energy. Wow. So this person is very decisive about purpose. Hey. Woo, child. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it there. I don't know what else to pull. Oh, help me, help me, help me. Wow, this is some beautiful. So I'm going to get some angel confirmations. And I just saw the card let go. The hangman energy talks about letting go. They had to let go of some type of old paradigm that kept them trapped. This could have been mental. Uh, uh, this could have been distorted beliefs as well that kept them distorted for a while or kept them in this hangman's energy. Okay, so I heard they had to heal from codependency. They had to learn um, their own needs. And they had to spend a lot of time in an inner self-reflection or inner reflection state. They were on a path of healing, of relearning, of reconnecting with self is what I picked up right there with the insight card. Beautiful energy. So somebody's divine masculine or somebody's in this emperor's energy and they are holding space for an opportunity here. So let's see with an angel uh, closing card. Closing card for this uh, message surrounding the feather. Wow. We have abundance and no. So, okay. So with the no card, I feel like what this person wants to happen, it's a no for right now. They're being guided. Yeah, ask your angels. So this person is waiting for a divine instruction to move forward on something here. We have great fortune and abundance. So this person is fully aware um, that they have abundance uh, that's in their, in their graph or in their midst. But no. So I feel like with the hangman's energy, with waiting or holding space, this is where the no is actually coming from. But we're about to see. Um, we're about to jump into the the card, the Dex book to make sure that we're not missing anything. All right. So it's a, a calm note. It's a subtle note. And it means the answer to your question is no. You may gather additional information, but by asking another question surrounding the issue, draw another card. OK, so I'm being instructed to draw another card. Oh, well, I would. I'm just going to add acts or angels. So yeah, whatever they're asking, they have gotten the answer of no. And they're being instructed to ask their angels or to trust in the subtle energies, what they're receiving through the third eye chakra. So if this message resonates with you, whatever you're asking, the answer is no. And you need to ask your angels or your guardians or spirit um, to give you more clear or calm uh answers ask for it be very precise and it will come to you give it a timestamp of 24 or 48 hours so you don't get confused but someone has freed themselves from a trap or from some type of ego trap that they may have been living in for quite some time we also have two plus six is eight so this person has been working on their personality they have been working on um possibly their abundance we have eight and abundance infinite possibilities or the infinite self is here as well so i hope you guys did enjoy this reading if you did go and big up yourself in the comment box below i wanted to share with you the message that could have been surrounding that owl feather that i found outside of my home and i felt like i needed to share with my community so i hope you guys did enjoy that if you did go and big up yourself in the comment box and i see you guys in another channel message chat to you guys later ciao